Hi guys, today um, I'm going to show you how to use the ref edit control. Really, really simple. Um, really, really simple. Okay, um, we're going to start this from scratch. I've already prepared it based on an old user form that I made, but uh, we'll, we'll do it again. So, all you need to do, Alt F11 again, Alt F11 that is. Um, okay, let's open up the Visual uh, Basic Editor and then we'll do Insert User Form. So we use form two. Uh, let's rename that to the form um, color range. Like that. Um, <laughs> caption. Do the caption of ref edit control user form example like that. Um, and then we've got toolbox. These are the ref edit control at the bottom. So you just Pull that down. Okay. So all that'll do, it gives you a range when you press that on the worksheet. You might have seen it used in uh, certain uh, statistical applications and um, basically a lot of applications use the ref edit control. Because what it allows you to do is speci specify a selection range. Okay. So now the the, the command button is going to do all the work for us. Let's rename that to CMD Go. Um, go. Okay, so double click on the Go button. Okay, let's just refer back to my previous form, see how I coded it. So it's dead easy, not literally. I'll take you through this in a second. So click Go. So basically says, let me get my magnifier, basically what it says is um, dim selection range is range, dim of the address is string, the address is equal to my ref edit one dot value, so whatever the range is, set selection range equals range address, so it refers back to that, and then it just says selection range dot interior dot color index equals three, which is red. You can change that line to RGB, and then it unloads the user form. Okay, so let's just get that. Okay, back to normal view. So let's try it. Now we've now we've done that. So I'll select this whole area here, and then just click go. What I should have done then is now make it red. So Let's put an ActiveX control on here. Insert form button. No. Um, user form. Dot show. Okay. So that button's clicked. That happens. So. Hi guys. Hi. Welcome back. Oops. Today I'm going to show you. That's another video that's just loaded and sport this one. <laughs> so, yeah, just give me the interior color range. You can do other things with this. Um, let me just edit that. So go instead of this. Go. Cell range dot copy destination equals range um, what range shall we do? Let's copy whatever's in that cell over to range W one. W1 to W3, something like that, just for example. Range to be making dynamic, but uh, not for the sake of this. So it's getting dark. Okay, need some destination here. Oh, I don't need brackets. 
three in brackets, put it in brackets on the destination. Alright. So I load this up again. One, two, three. So wherever I select from here, copy, or we should copy over to the other side. So let's put some data in. 20, 30, 40. Button. Select those. It copies over. Okay. So if I did more, 40, 50, 60, I doubt this will work because we've only got. So if I copy all those and click copy, it's only going to copy the first. Oh no, it'll copy them all. Okay. Right, that was an unexpected bonus. So copy again. Okay. Yep. There you go. That's how you'd use the replica control. So if you want to look at that again, it's just back in there. Um, copy. This is the important part. Selection on copy destination and then give it the specified range. Can be dynamic or not. Okay. Hope that's helped. Um, Subscribe, uh, see you on the next video, thanks for watching.